It's kind of fun to think about last meal, but what would you actually say? What would you communicate? What would you give away? What would be in your heart to speak to someone, to say, hey, I want you to know this before I leave, before I'm gone, this is the word that I want to share with you. Church, that's what's happening here in Ephesians. Paul is in prison in Rome. He is going to meet his end. And he says, listen, I know you're living in uncertain times. You're living in a world that does not value and believe what you believe and value. You're living in a world that's increasingly hostile toward this truth that we have, right? He's speaking to the Ephesian church. I feel like he's speaking right to us in this moment by the Holy Spirit. And he, here's what he says. He says, be unified. Here's the message. Carry humility and gentleness and patience. Let me tell you something. I can't think of a more, a word that's more opposite to our current culture right now than patience. And so the question then becomes, how do we become unified? Grow, grow, grow in Christ. Because let me tell you, the only answer to the chaos of the world is Jesus, the gospel. And Paul's looking at his people saying, dive. If you wanna rise up and have a voice of hope and truth in this moment, if you wanna be something in this season, dive deep, go there with him in maturity in the Lord. This is what the Father wants. Unity that comes from growing, not just deep in Christ, but doing it together. We like to joke with our kids that they don't have permission to keep growing. Like every time a birthday comes around, I'm like, who gave you permission to turn 10? That's so wrong, you know? And we like to joke that we don't want our kids to grow because we love and treasure this moment with them. But listen to me. If they weren't actually growing, we'd be doing everything we could to make sure they were okay and thriving. If you're a loving parent, you want your kids to thrive. You want them to be growing. God's looking over us as a father over us saying, I have growth, I have life for you. Your life is not on hold in this moment. This is a moment for growth for you. It might be chaos for everyone else, but not you, child, not you, son, not you, daughter. This is a moment for growth. You wanna grow deep in Christ, you aren't gonna do it on an island. You gotta do this thing together with people. We're gonna love each other. We're gonna bear with each other in love. My growth in Christ is connected to your growth in Christ. And you have giftings and anointings and talents and abilities that I need.